Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. This episode is called Burger Shop. What up, buddy <laughs> people, and welcome. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do it at all. To episode 84. 84, baby. Two bandits watching Bluey. Oh, he was going to say that for a long time. your good pal, Greg Painter. I see him right here in the burger flesh. And with me. Uh, yes. He's just a cheeseburger in paradise, and his name is... <laughs> really cool. I'm, I'm down with that. I am Michael Martin. Michael, how yes. are you today? Ooh. Good, sir. I feel very official. Formal formal, formal name. Wow, I said it three times fast. You did it. Formal, yeah. formal, formal name. Formal, formal, formal. I'm good today, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. How is the one, the only Ninja Turtle drinking out of glass? Did you forget my name? <laughs> Greg Vayner. <laughs> there you go. You did it. We are excited. It is today was the official last day of school for my yes, little least. True statement. So shout out to Emily going into fourth and Libby mm-hmm. going to first grade. Now Big time for them. Now you have no commitments to have to throw them in the bathtub at all because there's no school. So you can go like six weeks without washing those kids. You don't need to worry about I don't think that's the way that smells work. I but don't know what are talking about? But we got some kids getting thrown in bathtubs on this episode because it is Burger Shop. Which why does that it. mean kids in bathtubs? You'll find out shortly. I'm, I'm gonna have a hunch that people listening to this kind of know what what the Burger Shop is. But honestly, if I was listening to this show for the first time and you said this episode's called Burger Shop and involves bathtubs, I would be very confused about what you're talking about. Is there another way that we could find out? Well, if there was only some sort of synopsis from Wikipedia, I could read to you. Goodness golly, our good friends at Wiki Bluey. Hey, Greg. Yeah. What's a Burger Shop? It's time for Bluey and Bingo to get out of the bath, mm. but Dad has decided not to tell them what to do and gets roped into a game of Burger Shop. That's correct. Got a live audience here. We do have a live audience here. School's out for summer, baby, and it's our vacation, so there might be a little Finn scream in the background here and there, because he's home, folks. He's home. What? There we go. What's up, homie? So let's get into this sucker. That's correct. <laughs> we kick off and it's nighttime. At yes. Casa de Healer. Oof. In the, in the, I'm going to say right out of the gate, the, the music kind of brings a lot of joy in, to me in this in this episode. It's kind of got like a bussy, it's, whimsically. It's an interesting little ditty for yeah. sure. I, I heard it play and I was like, is this a, is this a thing already? I noticed it's not just a jaw. Oh, and the, in yeah. the credits. It's a, if there's somebody else in there too. Absolutely. Did you look them up or no? I did. Of course. All right. Well, I'll let you. Don't you worry. Knock that out when you feel no, like it. No, it's all good. But it's a fun little intro right at the get-go because it's not just the, the, the bluey theme. It's just a, the bluey sound on a saxophone. Because it's nighttime, you're winding it down. Winding it down. Smooth jazz. A nice the healer household. Chill, hang in the bathtub. Mm. We got team shower going on, team bath going on. And we got yep. Bandit sitting, <laughs> reading a book. Yeah, of course. While the kids are having, I'm going to say we're probably at like minute 20, minute 30 of this bath. Of course. This has been going on for a while. Bath water does not stay warm Bandit for got that a long. Bit distracted. Mm hmm. Nice for clearly this is not their first burger shop, and they are big fans of burger shops because if this is the kind of burger shop that they're going to be having inside of their dream house from Escape, then this burger shop must be doing well. It must be run by a very efficient owner, I think. It, it must be. Personally. I am. Uh, I, I've got some big feels on this one because this yeah. this is very much a Olivia adapted game okay. to her bath time too. We have those same letters. You also uh, have 500 cir- brown please. circle O's that you can use as burger patties. Uh, we don't, I'm not sure they're brown. I think we're, we're a little more imagination with our colors when we're having oh, our burgers. There's some purples and some okay. greens and some reds. Clearly you're we not got reading. some of those SpongeBob uh, fancy patties that okay. we're working on. Good. Good. But we're, we're very much in the, the burger shop game. Mm-hmm. Eat like a crazy person like your cookie monster. Okay. Okay. Throwing it back in the bathtub. Paying with your imaginary money. Your dollar bucks? It's a good do, you, time. do you run out of money at all? Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of money to be had in those little letters, my friend. It's hard to run out. Now, this might just be me. No, we usually. We've, was, been, we've been linking a lot lately, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna oppose you no matter what. I had what. a random pause okay. when it was on Bandit, and I was yep. looking at his book that he was reading. Yep. That very much looks like Mr. Mid- Sherman from Sherman and Peabody. Mm-hmm. You, you saw that too. Mm-hmm. That, that, so uh, I'm gonna say Isn't yes. He, Mr. Is, Sherman is, wrote a book yes. on well, parenting well, because of his work with. Uh, 
Peabody. Wait, no, it's Mr. Peabody. Thank and you. Okay, Mr. Peabody cool. and Sherman. Because <laughs> that's what my head was. Mr. Peabody. I wrote a book from, on Sherman. I remember him from being Mr. Peabody from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. Yes. From way back when, which I, I think there's no questions asked in that situation. It's a glad. Dang it! I wanted to oppose you in some fashion. Like, <laughs> no, it's not Sigmund Freud. It's that's fine, Mr. That's fine. Peabody. So, he, shout out. He's reading a book about how to be a better parent when he's got a well better. Well, that's debatable. Sure. But no, continue. I understand that. No, I understand that. But he also, he, he has a four and seven year old too. So, and up to this point in time, I don't know. I, I think that it, this, this, this is an interesting moment because everybody holds Bandit to this high regard of being the parent that you can't be. And we'll get to that in a later part. We probably should have brought it up in the intro versus other things, but we'll put it later on. Dale Earnhardt. Um, oh, Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> but... So Bandit, junior, junior. To course, be clear, sure, of course. You know, tomato, tomato. Um, I'm a junior, so you know what? Uh, when somebody says Mike Martin, they know they're talking about me. Uh, <laughs> love you, Dad. Jeez, quiet down, Mike. Um, but I feel like it's it shows some humility in Bandit because he, th- he thinks he should be able to improve himself as a parent. So he's still looking to improve, even though he is the yes and committing to the bit got to be done guy. Even in this episode, yep. he he struggles with the. Hard stance, or it's like he's, he's well, I guess I do need another burger. They were good. Oh, I do have to get all those toys. So, oh, I am out of money. I think he didn't read enough of the book when he set it down to help out with the burger shop. Cause, <laughs> well, because mom pops in and like, uh-huh. why are you still here? This, and they're I, freezing. You know, I, they're I, not I feel, freezing I yet. I feel like every other parent, like every dad's in charge, mom comes in, is like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Or vice versa. I, I definitely had those feels of, okay, I'm doing this and this and this, and surely by the time I get upstairs, everybody's going to be in pajamas and ready to go. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Amateur We're hour. We're doing the same thing we were an hour ago. But, he, but <laughs> what, he, what he was doing, though, was reading a book to be a better parent, though. So isn't there some sort of I do love gift it. to that? Can you earn your keep, please? <laughs> oh, love that line. I really. do not like that line at all. That oh chilly, that's uh clearly you were doing fifteen tests at the time. And you're walking by like oh you're just doing nothing still. Mm, chilly, he's there. You're both owning your earning your keep. I don't know, but I, I don't like especially in front of the kids. I'm done being a mean parent. Mm. So that's mean parent. <laughs> I, I have a problem with that. With just saying follow the rules and listen when it's time for fun to end. Okay. Dale Earnhardt Jr. might have some things right with that statement, mm, but hey. Uh, oh, man. Boo, Dale Earnhardt So, Jr. anyway. He's getting better about it because he, he's learning to let them make their own choices. Make your own decisions. You can play Burger Shop and be so tired tomorrow. Or you can go to bed and feel great. Mm-hmm. That's, a good, that's a good start here. Yeah. Okay, let's play. Yep. And they totally yes and him here. And I'm wondering if the next page of the book, it says... When it comes to letting them make their own decisions, what you do is say, do you want me to pull the plug of the bathtub or do you want to pull the plug? And that way they can yeah. make the decision of ending bath time. <laughs> that That's uh, kind of the way that we pull like, my, my good trick. This sure. has helped me a ton. So it's not for burger shop time. Yep. But in the morning, Liv gets up, she gets her cereal, she's watching her cartoons, and she doesn't want to get dressed. For the longest time, it's just a fight. It's like, I don't want to get ready for school yet. Mm-hmm. So it turned into, Liv, if we get dressed right now, we'll have 45 minutes to play until school starts. We got to hurry then. There you go. So it's just kind of turning the idea on its head. Mm-hmm. Not putting him the power, but having both decisions they could have of course. benefit you. Come on, Mr. Peabody. I think so. How many bathrooms do you know that have a drain sitting in the middle of the room? There's a drain in the middle of the room? A metal drain just sitting right in the middle of the room there. Well, that's convenient. And I'm trying to figure out... Is that? Hey, friends, is that an Aussie thing? At Watching Bluey, let us right. know. Like, Because I only know that in, like, gyms. Gyms and, like, 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 like back of the house restaurant kitchens have them. <laughs> like, that's, that's where I'm recalling these things. And well, then I've got a big clawfoot tub. I got to believe some water gets everywhere. That's what I'm wondering too, though. And this is this is me being a total nerd, nerd just, just absolute beginner about this. Clawfoot tubs. How do they work? Like where does it where does it drain out? Because it's oh, that's a good question. They've got the claw feet, and I'm trying to watch the episode, and I'm like, it's obviously not going to show like a plumbing feature associated with it. But do they just? Pull the plug and just let it go to the drainy. And in my head, Greg's getting squeamish because you're like, 
ew, gross, dirty water on my ground. Now I've got to clean the ground after doing a bath time. And so it sounds like it's a bit more work. And that's But, but cloth with tubs, where's the drain go? I'm guessing it needs like just a standard pipe to, to, to for all of the, the bathy residue. But I don't see any in this episode. And I see the pipe. There's a clear drain in the middle of the room. So in my head. Yeah, a they cloth just... foot tub typically has a freestanding tub filler that supply use the supply lines inside the floor where the drain also sits so i guess yes <laughs> i'm betting I, I'm, and? Bet, I'm betting floor floor drain all the way is what they do yuck. love it love it good job hey guys yuck <laughs> you were correct I mean. you were correct in my displeasure for that <laughs> <laughs> moving on sure five dollar bucks That's is, a- you can get anything in australia for five dollar bucks, I'm learning. That's a good burger deal. You can get a dance. Yep. You can get pony ride. a sausage, a pony ride, burger with you, fries. You can get an apple on a stick. Yep. A good, and the best deal, as you just said, that's, that's, burger and fries. I mean, that doesn't sound too too cheap for any. Like, it, it's that kind of tracks with everything, though, doesn't it? <laughs> five bucks for burger and fries. Okay. That's, that's a deal right there. Sure. Sure. Well, we don't know if it's the best burger in the world or not, so you know what? Mm, it looked pretty scrumptious, just saying. Uh, I, I did enjoy the uh, the big... Uh, we, we had the front of the house manager mm-hmm. in Bluey taking the orders. Yep. And just unflappable bingo. Just kind of in the background all episode, just cooking away. Bingo is the restaurant owner, I think. You she, think? She's the chef and she's the owner of the restaurant. <laughs> Very much so. Guaranteed. She, she loves her work, that is for sure. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed she, Bluey's, uh, when it's time to go get the burgers, the diving under the water. Because she's still in the just, bath, man! Just chucking water <laughs> left and right outside of that tub. Thank goodness there's a drain in the floor. See? They're good to go. That's a quality little bathroom setup then. I know Greg's grossed out about we're, the... We're one round in. Mm-hmm. Mom's coming in. Pulling the plug. She scares the, the holy dog out of all of them, too. She does the jump scare pretty well. <laughs> They were so distracted with Burger Shop. See? Even and it trying was. to make subtle points and mm-hmm. it was struggling mightily. Okay. So are you are you anti-bandits thus far in this episode then? Are you not vibing his technique or are you playing along so far? I'm the, I'm Team Chili more than Team Bandit at the I, can, I understand that. I see that. Especially, yeah. the, especially the, let's settle this down. <laughs> She's a bit of a meanie, isn't she, kids? That's true. That's, that's always a rough one when Ben is talking crap on Chili because he does that in a pool too. Yep. It's like all oh, mom's things are boring. boring. You're the best parent. I am. Yeah, this is this is a tough one. This is a tough one because I feel like Bandit didn't read enough of his book to make the right choices that he's making right now. And maybe yeah, Chili Chili does have. I mean, she's basically saying you're making your bed in this home, homie. This is your situation. You're, you're gonna you're gonna well, reap the. And I think he's got a parenting book to parent. Preteens, and that, <laughs> which surprised me. Four and seven year olds, six year olds. I think she's still six. Chili calls them preschoolers at one yep. point. I don't see preschool as like Bluey shouldn't be a preschooler. I don't. know. Maybe it's just. I'm not sure that's Aussie terminology that we. Yeah, are I'm gonna say with. maybe it's just a turn of phrase until they're in some sort of like middle school situation. But I, I don't know if it is. Maybe it's just a turn of phrase that they use before, until they get into maybe like maybe. middle school or high school, like. Do they refer to it as elementary? I don't know. Because because it's very much a... Uh, Bandit's doing all he can to, like, speak to Bluey on an intellectual level of why it should be time to get out. And she's like, okay, oh. we'll get out that's, after this next burger. That's your thing. And maybe it's like a preteen kind of book versus a... I think maybe. And he's, 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 maybe he's preparing himself for that inevitable future that's to come with but Bluey and Bingo. But he just saw a parenting book and did not read the subtext of four teens. Mm-hmm. Well... You know, Mr. Peabody, it was, was Sherman, right? How old yeah. was Sherman? Was Sherman... I don't know. Wasn't a teenager. I'm going to say preteen. Yeah. <laughs> Go yeah. for it. Sure, okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm done. Technically, I'm probably like 70 either. years at this point. <laughs> probably 60, 70 years at this point, if we're going to be fair. We don't know when in their relationship that right. uh, Mr. Peabody wrote that book. Could be how to deal with an elder, elderly human companion. Sure. You don't know. There you don't know, Mike. I don't. I do not. I apologize. Know what I do, though? What? Blue's in charge. Why is that? I'll skip the chips. No, you won't. Okay. Ooh. Bandit lost all his power. Oh, situation. you mean between her and yeah, Bl- Bandit there? Charge. Yeah, this is where Bandit he's... is trying to be too nice. Yeah, and you see it right when he asks that question of, "Do you want to, you know, pull the plug right now and get some rest and feel great in the morning?" And when she says, "Yeah, we'll play burgers," like his eyelids do drop. Like, 
Oh Uh-oh. no! What did I do? So he's he's still got to read. He's got more book to read. That's all. And he he's trying. He's trying to speed up the playtime. Yep. Just downs that burger in one big gulp. He does most delicious burger ever. Getting uh, splashed like crazy. Yep. Cue the pickle burger. Hey, mm-hmm. Mike. Mm-hmm. Is that just a burger with pickles, or is there no burger, and it's just a ton of pickles? Ew! 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 Yeah. Ew, ew, no. <laughs> Bun and pickles. Well, bun and pickles, what makes it a pickle burger over a burger that typically would already a have burger. a pickle? You, you don't see any green on the OG burger. This is just pickles, a... pickles come with burgers, though. Not that's, de- like what it, that's like default. Not if you're in, getting a burger. Not in Australia? Not in Bingo's Burger Beef House. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to think. I don't have an additional B word. Bodega. Bodega? No. <laughs> What's the corner shop? Not in Bingo's shop. Dang it. No. <laughs> It's a plain burger. If you want extra, she's going to charge you extra for it. That's what Bingo does because she's running the biz. Well, I was talking charging extra. We're mm-hmm. out of money. Mm-hmm. Game over. I can't pay. See? He tried. He's trying to be inventive here. No, not, not so much. But then you he know your kids. But then into a corner. Well, then how do I get money? I go to the bank. Okay. Get a loan. <laughs> get that perks. perfect that perfect you mustache. Whoop. We've got the tea tie. The tea tie. And she's got the she top was, hat. She <laughs> was pre Prepared love for it everything that's not that's the thing he, he should know better than his kids like he should know who his kids are he should know better for himself and what he's getting into by trying to just say no burger shop burger shop of course you're gonna play burger shop i want to play burger shop that's great i don't know i'll probably spend it all on burgers though that sounds like a great idea boom so doing we, everything she can to knock it out missed opportunity here because she gave the banker Bluey, fantastic character, gives him the dollar bucks. And then he goes back to the burger shop and he says, here's your dollar bucks. The rubber duckies. They're, they're, they're dollar ducks. 100%. That should have been what they're called. It's right there, right in front of you. Here's your dollar ducks. Love it. No, no. Had to be real. Uh, so that's a, so that's their make-believe $5 token then. That's, this is why the we need to be... Hey, 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 Joe. Hey, everybody Joe's in Ludo Studios. Listening. Come, you don't know. <laughs> if you need us to, if you want to send us scripts, have us, you know, do a little punch up for you. Yeah, we yes. got you. Send we us you unreleased guys. scripts of your fantastic yeah. show. We'll do for punch us ups. To do quick edit points. Listen, once the WGA figures your stuff out, you want to bring us on board? We're fine. Oh yes. <laughs> we are, all because I said dollar ducks. Great, we cool. are there for you. Wonderful. But we're es- uh, we're escalating now. Time we're to start we're up to baby. toys. We're up to toys. You've gotten your dolphin. Mm. You need the octopus and the stingray you though. Complete the collection. So this dude's just going through the drive-through over and over and over again, just refilling on burgers here. So he's so keep- full. He's gonna be so he's full. Keeping that place in business. I think the AC might be too high in the restaurant though. <laughs> yes, that's true. Because we got statement. some shivering chefs. There are. <laughs> I have never seen a kitchen before. I've worked in many a kitchen. I've never walked into a kitchen. Cool kitchen. Chef's like, oh my, it's very chilly here this fine <laughs> evening. Your lips are blue. I'm a blue healer. Love. Oh man, sneaky get there, Bluey. That is Bluey is on her get for being late. Usually late is when kiddos start to fade. Mm-hmm. They're not making as much. Bluey is on her game tonight. She came to play. She will I don't not know. be denied. I don't know if it's the weekend. I don't know if. It... They had ice cream before they had bath time, so she's rocking and she's got all cylinders. But oh, man, I want ice cream. See? Yeah. We made the mistake. Gosh. Oh, our bad. Because in this episode, it, they do say it's 7 p.m. So I'm trying to go through. Like I think we've talked about our bedtime routines with the kids and all that kind of stuff. One of the two parents in this household, and one of them is the person that is not in the room, chose to give Finn ice cream at about... 7 45 8 o'clock wah, wah, the other wah. night on a school night and let me tell you you want to see a kid that could sling burgers 10 30 p.m finn, <laughs> finn martin was ready to do Ooh. any task at hand he was wired up i was like oh gosh it's not summer vacation yet why would we do this do our darndest to stop the sweets around 6 30 yep. once dinner time hits sweets are over wise greg is wise we every now and then that one I need to read that Mr. Peabody book about ice cream. I got to say, though, I got to give some credit to the marketing campaign at this restaurant. Okay. $5 for a burger, but only $100 bucks for 100 burgers? Boom. That's one heck of a deal. Part of me wonders if that, this might be a stretch. Okay, go ahead. This is how this works, man. It almost feels like a little bit of a Simpsons reference with uh, Bart with $100 for 100 tacos. That's a great deal. Uh Uh-huh. 
Dig $100 that. for 100 Maybe. burgers, it's a great deal. Brum did say he got a lot of, you know, reference from, I mean, everybody's, Simpsons always did it, but, so, yes, it's a, it's a clear Simpsons reference. Yeah. It's always a Simpsons reference, you know that. But we're not going back to the bank. We can't get our $100 Mm-mm. bucks and what has to be done. Well, you better believe, and that's where I'm like, Bingo's the owner, because she's like, no, he has to pay. <laughs> she's like, no, you, money, burger, no money, dishes. Do some dishes. And we got three doggos in a tub, shivering their butts off. That's a lot of the same letters. Like I don't like thinking about it, and it's just all, or it's just it's just monkey singing songs, mate. But that's a lot of the same magnetized letters there to have the. I, I couldn't the tell you what O's. letters we actually have. To be fair, <laughs> sure, we've gotten multiple of those letter sets. Yep. Oh yeah. And we definitely don't have a full alphabet anymore. Got them know. all over my dishwasher I, and fridge, but I don't know where they go. But they just kind of seem to disappear it's the sometimes. Socks in the dryer kind of situation. Something like uh, that. But cute chili to uh, save the she's day. Back. She's like, get out. It's time. I'm trying to teach him personal responsibility. My dude, mm. that is way too advanced of a concept. Like, I can only imagine. <laughs> He's totally on the Peabody book being preteen. I can only imagine saying to Olivia, uh-huh. it's like, you make all the decisions today. Actually. Olivia probably would put herself to bed at 7.30 and make sure that she brushed her teeth. <laughs> Emily would go buck wild until 3 a.m. Finn's been good about, yeah, nighttime, like bedtime routine. Because this is a very bedtime routine in an episode. It's clear because it's nighttime when it starts. Um, Finn's gotten really good about bedtime routine stuff, too. Like brushing his teeth and all that. He does it himself. He's Obviously, you need to do a, do a breath check and do kind of the peek into the Gross. bathroom to make sure that they're doing the, you know, the actual brushing. But... Lately, he's like, can't go to bed yet. Got to do brushy, brushy. My dude. What a guy. Oh. And that's why they let him in first grade. That's, that's how he graduated. That's right. He didn't get held back. He did not get held back at all. He did it. Proud of you. Even if during the, the Pledge of Allegiance, while all the other kids are having their hands on their heart, he's got two hands waving at me in the crowd. He's I'm like, happy to see you. Go get it, dude. <laughs> you do you. It's finally breaking point, though. Yes. We get one more. We'll get out. Sure. After this. Mm-hmm. And then Bandit just basically tackles them and pulls out the plug. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Because I think they even, like, gimmick him, too, where he's like, all right, we'll be Donald on Burger Shop. And they say, okay, Dad. Like, And he has this look of happiness. Because we can do tacos! Oh, love it. And the taco is a perfect taco. It's a U with a T in the middle of it. They're ready to go. <laughs> the imagination They know what in. they're doing. Oh. But we're done. We're out. We're getting dried. Book in the garbage can. How much? How many? How many rubber duckies did he spend on that book that he chucked out in the trash can? That he in did. his kid's bedroom. They didn't even <laughs> get through the entire book one. He doesn't know. Like you said, he could have missed some key chapters. He threw it right into Bingo's bin. Like what do you? I think this is just one of those commentaries on you can't you can't teach parenting in a book. No. Parenting is a lived experience. All our kids are different. Everybody's different. Yes. We all parent differently. Mm-hmm. And That's... if you try to fit your square peg of parenting in the round hole of Mr. Peabody's And you're doing dishes. Educating, <laughs> it's so, going to be a long day. The one, yeah, the one last bit that we didn't talk about was when she came in, Chile the last time, did the whole jump scare. She was like, look at you all, though. Your lips are blue. And Bandit says... She's a blue healer. Like, he used her line. So, clearly, you are correct. Blue is in charge in this situation. And Bandit did not succeed in making letting them make decisions for a clear path of nice, warm. Now they're going to get sick. Like well, well now, now they're wet playing hedgehogs with correct. their spiky hair. Just a quick game. Didn't learn his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, a, maybe it is the first day of summer vacation for them, too. Maybe. And he's, he's like, you know what? I should learn to be a better parent while they're out of school, not hanging out with Chili, Calypso. Chili is downstairs with two glasses of wine in front of her, waiting for Bandit to come downstairs. I thought you said that she have had a two glasses of wine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't do with them today. Well, by the time that it's 45 more minutes past, her what? wine will be empty and she'll be on number two waiting for Bandit to get down there still. Hedgehogs don't take that long. That just, only the Sonic ones. Yeah, speed. That's true. That's true. That's, we'll save that for Patreon. Great episode. Fun yeah, episode. Absolutely. Goofy episode. Again, one of those ones. I think I'm in the boat with you now with some of these last couple. This is one that I don't see a ton. Sure. While it's a, an important one in mm-hmm. the house de la painter. Sure. Not one that I've seen a ton. So it makes me very curious yeah. to ask you, hey, Mike. Yeah. What was your favorite thing in this episode? My, well, yeah. My favorite thing. I just had another tidbit pop in my head, but that's oh. okay. We'll save oh, it. Oh, tidbit. Tidbit. Do you. 
There were no bubbles in that bath. Do, do you kiddos always get again? A... Bubbles dissipate after a certain amount of time. That's this true too. Yeah. It's been a while. It's uh, okay. Yeah. And She's also, a blue healer. bubbles are not a one hundred percent of the time. Oh, oh, just just when Greg needs a bath. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Love you. Love your day. My favorite thing today was, and that's why I had to bring it back up a little bit, was when J- Chili jump scares them a little bit. And she she makes the same remark that she's got blue lips and he uses Bluey's line. She's a blue healer though. Like he's trying to cover his bases and also be funny about it. Oh, Bandit, you're you're kind of you kind of set yourself up on this one by only reading the first five pages of uh, Peabody's book. So that was my favorite thing today. Greg, what was your favorite thing about Burger Shop? Uh, I very much liked the fast change mm-hmm. from from Burger Bluey to Banker Bluey. Mm-hmm. Just the the little you. Hulk Hogan mustache so that she was good. rocking. The tea the tie. Tea tie. And very very well just made. very professional banker voice that she gave herself. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yes, you should buy burgers with these. Just goofy. She was she again, she was on point. She was not she was not suffering fools tonight. She, she knew was what she was playing doing, her man. burger shop game and she's gonna make it happen. I feel like it's a leading question or leading statement then. Who's your favorite character? I'm giving it to Chili. Interesting. Oh chili. yes. Okay. Chili was the peacemaker chili. Chili is the Greg in this episode, I think. <laughs> um, Beth is definitely more the the let's keep having fun pair. I'm the it's bedtime. Mm-hmm. Let's go to bed now. We've got to watch season six of Black Mirror and get creeped out. Go. We've got to have our glass of wine before your ice melts in your wine, Beth, because you're super classy and put ice in your wine. <laughs> Love you, Beth. <laughs> we both threw both of our chilies under the bus in this episode. Man. But I'm going to win chili. <laughs> She was the pragmatic one. She was trying to help, even though Bandit couldn't tell. Really Enjoy your wine, Chili. Recover from our Enjoy your wine, today. Chili. You earn it. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Who is your Chili, too, of course. No. Um, I, I Mine pivoted as we were talking about the episode. I love business shop owner Bingo. I love Bingo. Oh, really? Episode. Yes. I was going to give it to Banker Bluey because she was on point and it was out of the blue. Yeah. Um, but there was something about the, the passion of Bingo when she's like, no, no, no. We need the cash. This is my this is my burger shop. Cashola just adds to the fun. And also, it, it proves why it's difficult for Bandit to kind of pull away from wanting to play the game. Because the kids are being so creative. And like you said, bingo, she's not the main character in this one, but she's she's playing they're it full playing, force. They're playing together. They're being nice. They're yes. nice and calm. And like I said, it's hard to pull your kids away from, even if it's late, from creative, fun, happy play. It's it's a hard thing to do. It is. It is. You got to keep engaging it. You want, you don't want to lose the the seven minutes that you could actually spend directly playing with your children. Direct play. So that brings us yes to my third question for you. Hey Mike. Yeah. How do you rank episode eighty four? Mm-hmm. Burger shop. Oh man, you're doing my thing. Um, I feel. Oh gosh, I was bouncing around about it. This is this has been a tricky episode to have favorites of characters and all that. I still am going to rank it one missed opportunity of calling them dollar ducks. I feel I like I'm, this is just my hill that I'm gonna hang out on, and you know I'm not gonna die on it. I'm just I'm just hanging. I'm hiking up this hill today, and I'm gonna stay up here and plant my flag in dollar ducks. One dollar duck. Greg, is it even possible? Can he rank episode eighty four of Bluey? Burger shop. I rank this episode one hundred burgers for one hundred dollars. I'm so proud of you. One heck of a deal. What a guy. What a guy. Thank you all yes. for yes. hanging out with us. Absolutely. Plug time. Link tr.ee slash watching bluey. That's us. Merch, socials, TikTok, Patreon, including our seven day trial. Had a new member last week yes. taking advantage of the seven day trial. So welcome Thanks. aboard. What's up? Let us know. Watching Bluey at Gmail, your thoughts, your feels. We got a couple of really nice messages over the last week-ish or so that I do want to shout out yes. and give a big thank you for. Um, first off, Bro S, uh, thanks for reaching out and enjoying the back catalog right now. I think Ooh. you're in episode 2829, so Sweet once you catch up, deal. thank you and appreciate you. And also, a um, person asked not to be named, but thank you to a fan who reached out. Uh, back on episode 26, The oh. Beach, we okay. told people to send in essays to us that they wrote about Bluey. What? And hot diggity, if this person did not do that, sent out an awesome, awesome essay. I would love to be able to share it, but I don't want to get their name all up over places. There you um, go. But it was really cool. Heck it was yes. really neat. It was really well written. Um, and as promised... I give you grade of an A plus plus. Oh, 
Extra credit, my friend. Professor Painter over here, folks. I'm proud so of send him. us your stuff, mm. anything that you want to. Speaking of sending stuff, P.O. Box 2372, Syracuse, New York. That's still us. 13220. Anything and everything. Yeah. Which is cool. We like hearing from you folks. You're nice, and we like you. We miss you. Well, and you're still there. We appreciate lastly, you. Lastly. Okay. Hmm. And most important. If you, I kid you not, did not find the most legit burger shop in Australia, I'm going to have just a little shred of sadness in my heart right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to keep this going for one more moment. At 4.8 stars okay. with over 3,700 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. We are brought to you by Betty's Burgers. My dude! At 123 <laughs> Albert Street, which feels pretty fake, Brisbane City. <laughs> one, two, three. They've got burgers. They've got truffle fries. They've got Ooh. onion rings. They've got shakes. Mm. They have Betty's Secret Sauce, which oh, I don't know what man. that is, but you got to get Betty's Secret Sauce on your burger. That sounds fantastic. It looks lovely. If the pictures are true, it might be a beach bungalow burger shop, which, Ooh. yes, please, check them out. Betty'sBurgers.com.au or you can get Ooh. their official app on the Google Ooh. or Apple App Store. Not available in America, so I can't download it. Look at those Dang it. Fries. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, look at this little place. It looks Ooh. too. Is this worth a trip, hey, Mike? Oh, yeah. I think that might. I think we got to pack our bags. I know we're supposed to go to Toronto this weekend, but maybe yeah. we should change it to Brisbane. Know why I think that, I don't Mike? think they have a Betty's Burgers in Toronto, so why is that? Because it's got to be done. This has got to be done, 